Barack Obama's choice of Hillary Clinton for Secretary of State is inciting a mixed reaction from the liberal blogosphere today. Over on the dailycoast.com, one poster writes, I think she'd make a terrific Secretary of State, but I'm getting tired of the ink wasted on whether or not she won't like the idea or hate it. What's got many lefty bloggers concerned today is that once Barack Obama takes office, he may turn his back on them. Ari Melber is the nation's net movement correspondent and a writer for the magazine's blog. Ari, welcome. And why are liberal bloggers so concerned right now that Obama may abandon them? Well, one thing they're concerned about, even from the quote you mentioned, is the way that a lot of people in the media are making this some sort of personality clash instead of focusing on the issues. Uh, on Daily Coast and, and many of the leading liberal blogs, people want Obama to stay true to his word on Iraq, and they want a secretary of state to carry that out. Hillary Clinton is widely popular in the party, but of course they had differences on Iraq in the past, and I think there's concern about those issues. But of course, let's remember, many people in the liberal blogosphere were not that close with the Obama campaign during this race. He was seen as this post-partisan candidate, while as many people on the blogs wanted a more partisan kind of activism. Uh, so I don't know that it's a big change that there's a, an ongoing dialogue here with the president-elect. All right, well, let me ask you this. What are the names that the liberal blogosphere, the net roots, whatever we, we'd like to call them today, what are the names out there that they would like to see appointed to, cap, to, uh, to, to the Obama cabinet? I mean, I think Bill Richardson remains very popular uh, and was very strong uh, on the war on diplomacy, at least during the primaries. General Wesley Clark remains a very popular figure in the blogosphere, and there would be tremendous enthusiasm for him being tapped to play a role. Uh, let, me, let me ask you this, Chris. You know, uh, I'm sorry, Ari, Chris Saliza, sure. the Fix blog in the Washington Post, quoted a Democratic aide who said about bloggers and the Lieberman vote, quote, they can rant and rage, but they still do not put the fear into folks to actually change their votes. And, you know, I work on the Hill, and I've heard that, uh, that sentiment expressed many times over again, uh, that the net roots, the liberal blogosphere, overestimates its influence. What do you say to that? Well, number one, you have to look at the source. There you have someone who isn't even going to speak on the record in their own name. That would suggest some fear right there, uh, hiding behind the anonymity for a very basic claim uh, to the Washington Post. And someone who sees themselves potentially, I don't know the person because they won't stand up for themselves, but uh, potentially as a competitor with uh, some of the liberal blogs. Maybe it is from uh, a, a congressional office that has had conflict. Maybe it was a Lieberman aide. We don't know because that person won't say. But I do think you have competition here. Barack Obama is coming in as president-elect um, and you have a lot of different forces that want to make their voices heard. Obviously the net roots and the larger social networking support for Barack Obama, particularly among people under 30 who care about the Iraq war, who care about dismantling the surveillance architecture of the Bush years. Obviously they have a huge impact. Obviously they're going to continue to make their voices heard. All right, Ari Malber, thanks very much for joining us today.